All right, this is the last video for the spectrophotometer. I wanted to have one more follow-up video for showing you how to use it um, across tanks, okay? So now we have the ability uh, to measure out the concentration of uh, copper sulfate in a bath. We also have the ability to measure pH because we have a pH meter, but Another thing that we can do, that we've always been able to do, is measure the amperage, uh, or the uh, what amperage I need per inch. Okay, so what you need is a, a 0.5 by 0.5 square of copper plate, okay? a real thin copper plate, and you hang that at an, at a known distance from your anode. In this case, you can use any distance you want, but I choose two inches away from the anode. Um, that's because I'm, my bath is rather big, okay? But you could choose any known var variable for this. And then you need to do this at like 0.1 amps per inch, 0.2, so you put your amp meter at 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0.3, and you see the distance or the difference between the three samples, okay? And you can crank that all the way out if you wanted to. Okay, that's how you measure uh, what amperage you need to get a shine. So I have this curve that I built based upon the spectrophotometer. I can take a sample of the absorbance. The absorbance was 1.09 in this tank and 1.08 in this tank. That's telling me my formula uh, that over and like that over a long time, you know, that seemed like it would be worse than that, but it's actually pretty good. Um, up here, what does this number mean? So when we first start building, if you're using my formula, um, of the amount of copper sulfate in bath, it's between 22 grams per um, 100 milliliters. So it's relatively in here. But you can see that this number fell outside of that. It fell into this region right here. So what does that mean? Well, really, it should have been uh, 0.1 amps per inch. Usually I get a shine every time, but because of that, uh, it looked like, you know, like 0 0.2, 0 0.3, I had to crank up the amps in order to get the same amount of shine. It means that my tank is not oversaturated, okay? It might be a little undersaturated. So I could tell, I could say, well, I need to dehydrate my tank a little bit to bring back into this area. But all those things are now known because of this curve. I'm just trying to get in between these two variables. Um, I can now say I can just dehydrate it a little bit to get back there. But even if I don't do that, I also have this telling me, well, if it is at this level, what amperage do I need to put it at to get to shine? Because I could put it at 0.1 for like two days, okay? And then at the last minute, like last few hours of the bat, I can just crank it up to 0.3 amps per inch. And then all my objects become shiny and I can pull them out of the bath. And that's what I usually do. I, I kind of put it at this level, leave it for, you know, a long period of time because, you know, like I get, I get busy. And then I come back and then just before, um, when I think I have enough plate on the object, that's when I crank it up to 0.3 amps per inch and then let that shine come in and boom, I'll just pull them out. Cool. That's a lot of information, but that's how you would utilize this curve uh, to its fullest. And what's nice is everybody uses, like, let's say everybody uses that same formula for uh, your bath. You could share the results across many people, too, because it doesn't matter about volume of liquid in this case at all. Uh, the size stayed the same. 
the pH. So as long as you use the 0.5, you have the same pH level. Uh, you have it relatively the same temperature. You're using the same sample size, no matter what, no matter if it's five gallons or 10 gallons of bath, uh, it doesn't matter. Pretty sweet. All right, sweet. So I hope that was not too confusing. Uh, once you build it and you kind of run it a little bit, you'll get more of an understanding on it. But I hope that helps out a few more people that had some questions about it. And maybe I'll share this. I'll, I'll make a copy of it and uh, share the results just so you can kind of see which ones I did. Have a good one.